All right, Sherlock Winston fans, another review of my previous channel. It's The Haunting of Julia, otherwise known as Full Circle. Let's check it out. So... This is the lofting household. That's Mia Farrow. She plays Julia. That's her daughter, Katie. They live in London. Kier Delia plays her husband. And something happens while Katie's eating her apple. She chokes. Unfortunately, Katie does die. After Katie dies, Julia ends up in the hospital for a while. It's high time you were out of here and back in the world again. Well, I tell them I thought you were well enough. And her marriage also suffers. All we had for you is to suggest that we have three sessions a week to start with. Good. Good. Well, I leave her in excellent hands. Good luck to you both, Mr. Lockett. Julia decides she can't be with her husband anymore and moves into her own place. For the first time in many years, she's alone. Some scary, creepy things start to happen at home. She's cut herself, for example. Her husband wants her to come home. Your sister. What happens to us if I fail, if I lose her? I'm going to get her back any way I can. And leaving her to dream away in that house of hers is not my idea of one of them. So in this park, like across the street from her new place, a couple times she thinks she sees an image of uh, Katie. This time when she went to investigate, she found a dead turtle. And a knife. So naturally, the next step is to have a seance in her house. See if there's any history here. That's her friend Mark. Problem. Magnus actually is able to get into her house when she's not home. You play your games if you want to, and I'll come back to the doctor so he knows just exactly what I look against. He thinks she's hiding in the basement. Do you hear me? Julia? The joke's on him. It's the end of Magnus. Not a very nice story, I'm afraid. History of the house. What happened? Well, as far as I can gather it, she had a child without any of the usual formalities. Uh, she had a daughter. Lovely little thing, by all accounts. It's important. Apparently, the previous owner of the house had a daughter that died in the house. Daughter's name was Olivia. 
She tries to find more information. The other night, you said you saw a child. Mrs. Flett, I had a little girl. She, she died two months ago. She was eight years old. Her name was Katie. She, she had blonde hair. Pretty no. No, little girl. But you told me. You said you saw it. So she says a little boy was found, or was dying, in the park across the street. And sure enough, she does some digging and finds a newspaper article about it. Jeffrey Braden. I'm involved with that truth. Does some more sleuthing. Talks to, what is it you wish to know? the boy's mother. This is one of the witnesses, one of the kids. She said that you and David Swift and Excuse me. Could I have a word? I won't be a moment, madam. Listen, I neither know nor care what Jeffrey Braden has to do with you. But as far as I'm concerned, the past is as dead as he is. Do you understand? Now go away and leave me alone. The other witness is a little more forthcoming. They hanged an old tramp for that, you know. Mrs. Braden says he didn't do it. Does she? A bit late for that now, isn't it? Did he? Where? The girl Olivia. She's taken a place down near Swansea when they brought her down. Made all the boys the hold her down while she killed him. Her daughter. Olivia. You knew her? Of course I knew her. We all knew her. Later on, that guy, I think his name was Mr. Swift. <laughs> Is the victim of an unfortunate accident. Hey, Rosita, I have to go shopping downtown for my mother. She needs some tortillas and chili peppers. That's her friend, Mark. He faces an accident as well. A lot of people dying. I know about Olivia, Mrs. Rush. That's Olivia's mother. She's in a mental home and very old. I know how difficult it's been for you because... Because my daughter's dead, too. Dead? Not dead. You're sorry. Look at me. Look at me. I am the one who is dead. Why? She said her daughter, Olivia, was evil. You killed your daughter. No. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you did. Like I killed mine. That wretched, evil creature, I killed her. She showed. She laughed. She laughed. I killed her. You think you're safe? Go away. You're, you're, you're not safe. You shouldn't be here. Go. And as Julia's leaving, he sees, she sees her daughter Olivia's eyes in her and immediately suffers a heart attack and dies. Julia returns home. And discovers a ghost. Little Olivia. She has this weird toy with a sharp edge to it, a sharp stick or something on it. She tries to welcome Olivia. But as she welcomes her and Olivia comes close,
She ends up with her throat cut. No one survived the haunting of Julia. All right, let's talk about the haunting of Julia. Um, or it's called here, Les Cachemars in a Détits. I don't know. That's French. But anyway, uh, the on-screen title said Haunting of Julia, also known as Full Circle. This is a movie that showed up on cable in my early cable days, 1982, 1983. I remember, the only thing I remember actually seeing it was the very opening scene where uh, the daughter, Katie, choked on that apple and died. That's the only part I saw. That's the only part I remembered. But years later, I ended up uh, acquiring the... Uh, yeah, pre-recorded VHS of this movie, and um, eventually the DVD here. It's a PAL DVD. So the movie itself stars Mia Farrow. She's this uh, woman. Um, shit, I forgot her name now. And the back of the box is all in French, so I can't remember. But anyway, uh, she and her husband, Magnus, uh, uh, oh, Julia, obviously, is the name of Mia Farrow's character, duh. So Julia is married to Magnus, played by Kier Dulea. Their daughter chokes to death. Um, after that, they split up. Um, she gets this new place. They're living in London. And she gets a new place. And uh, she starts to have some creepy things happen to her. It's almost like the house is haunted. Um, at one point, she seems to think she sees her daughter, like, across the street in a playground. She sees her a couple times later on. But then when she goes to investigate, uh, the girl's gone. And then at one point, she finds, like, a dead turtle um uh, that had been killed there so she does some investigating she finds out that the house she lives in was once owned by this name this woman named heather heather ridge or rudge something like that and uh she apparently moved years ago once her daughter her daughter olivia died well at one point she brings in a like a, a medium and has a seance and uh the woman freaks out and, and says you got to leave this house immediately um, that sort of thing. So anyway, she continues her investigation. She finds out that um, a uh, a boy had died across the street uh, in a playground, um, and she did some sleuthing. The only witnesses who are left are these this guy named Paul and this other guy whose name I can't remember. Um, and it turns out there was this girl named Olivia who uh, was uh, everybody was kind of infatuated with her. She's probably like 10, 11 years old or so, and she could get all the boys and everything else to just everybody to do things for her. And it turns out. She initiated them into some sort of club where they had sex with her. She also made them kill an animal. And at one point, she had the boys hold down this uh, boy, and she stuffed some grass in his mouth, and they basically killed him. Um, and there's only a couple witnesses left. All the other people who witnessed that event or participated in it had died. Uh, it turns out Olivia's mother knew that her daughter was evil, so she choked her to death. And uh, mom has been in a mental hospital ever since. She interviews the mom where we learn that, uh, yes, she choked her own daughter. She said she was evil. I had to get rid of her, that sort of thing. When she, when, when uh, Julia leaves, um, she catches a glimpse of Mia Farrow's eyes and uh, she has immediately has a heart attack and dies. Uh, Julie's friend, uh, Mark, who owns this like antique shop, he dies when a fan falls in his bathtub. Um, her husband, who they'd split from, uh, came over one day and he had an accident at the house, uh, unbeknownst to Julia and, uh, cut himself in the basement and, uh, sliced his throat and died. So she goes back to the house at one point near the end of the film, Julia does, and she finds this ghostly image of Olivia. And Olivia has this toy with the sharp object on it. And she basically welcomes Olivia and says, you can stay, that sort of thing. But the next scene, the last scene, we see, uh, Julia's in a chair, her throat is uh, slit, she obviously got cut by that toy or whatever it was, and she died, and everybody died! And that's the end of our movie. So, that is The Haunting of Julia. Julia was Mia Farrow. So, this was uh, originally a book written by Peter Staub, I think is the guy's name. He also wrote the uh, movie Ghost Story, which I reviewed. It uh, came out in uh, early 1981, I think, that movie came out. Uh, this movie, um, I've seen it a few times over the years, and I actually, uh, I think I enjoyed it today better than I had any of the previous times. It does have a kind of a creepy, spooky atmosphere to it. Um, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's creepy. And the fact that literally everybody dies in this movie and there's no survivors at the end, not even Mia Farrow's character, is uh, adds to the creep factor. The only person or a thing left alive was the ghost of Olivia near the end, who's the girl you see on the cover there. So anyway, that's not Julia, that's Olivia, actually, but it's Julia, the uh, Mia Farrow's character, who was actually the person 
who's listed in the title of the film. So anyway, that's it. Uh, Haunting of Julia. This movie is not available on DVD. Uh, this is a, or is a American version of a DVD. This is a PAL DVD, which I believe I got from France about five, six years ago. And I think I paid about 50 bucks for it. I could not find any listings for this on eBay right now. I did find one listing on Amazon UK. It was $37. I'll leave a link to that, or, or if there is one on the American version, I'll leave a link to that. But uh, if you're looking for this DVD, it's pretty rare find. Like I said, as far as I can tell, there's only one available in the world right now, uh, and there it is. Uh, you can find some bootlegs for it. That's definitely out there for sure. But kind of a rare film and kind of a sought-after film. So anyway, check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about The Haunting of Julia. Watch it. Bye.